oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Uh, yes, about the Viva apps. Yeah, give me, sorry, sorry, let's <clears throat> rephrase. So my name is Jose Ivonen. Uh, I work as a principal product manager in the Microsoft 365 platform areas for Microsoft. And in this video, we'll have a look on uh, what are the Viva apps and how you can acquire them. And if you're a partner, how you can get them to be visible uh, within the Microsoft app source available for customers uh, through the store and, and hopefully make billions and billions and billions of money uh, with them, right? That's always the objective. Now let's actually jump into the uh, screen and have a look on how this works in practice. Cool. Here we are in a Viva connection. Uh, so a few things to notice here. Uh, we are Viva connection is an application directly within the Microsoft team. So it's a similar kind of application as any other application, but it's actually provided by Microsoft. Um, and it's a Viva connection application, which can be personalized. And it's a hub for Microsoft Viva. So Microsoft Viva is our employee experiences platform. And from the Viva connection, uh, it's kind of the home site home experience for Microsoft Viva. You can access all of the individual Viva modules, which you have enabled within a tenant. Now, the cool thing about the Viva connection is that uh, it can be personalized. You can modify the logos uh, in the left navigation. You can modify the background screen here. You, of course, all of the followed site and everything else is followed sites. Sites, English is so hard. Followed sites um, and all of these things are configurable and personalized. And more importantly, you can, of course, personalize the dashboard. And, and the dashboard is, is something which provides you insights and functionalities uh, which are relevant for you, for your role and for your company. And you can design the dashboard to look based on your company branding, based on your company functionalities, based on the roles to whom that dashboard is being exposed. Like in this case, uh, it's a relatively simple and typical layout. Uh, so we're showing holidays and details and all of that. We do actually have here an example of a custom uh, Viva extensibility. So in this case, it's the Contoso retail uh, experience. And of course, from this dashboard and from the cards, which are exposing the relevant information also for mobile, you can deep dive directly into the application. And this is basically there so that if you are a platform provider or an ISV provider, you can actually build these cards to drive more traffic to your Microsoft Teams application and Microsoft Teams offering. And that's kind of the idea here. So you can easily access that Teams extensibility, which have been provided in a more uh, comprehensive features, um, but using the mobile and using the dashboard, you can see the most relevant details, most relevant insights for that particular moment. Now, the cool thing about the Viva dashboard is it's completely customizable. So now I can go to the edit view here and I can start modifying things uh, and I can modify this in a few different views. Of course, the mobile view is a bit more important um, because a lot of the usage for Viva Connection uh, desktop, I'm sorry, Viva Connection in general will be through the mobile. So it's really convenient way for front, frontline workers to stay up to date on what's happening, what's happening within a company. Um, so rather than assuming that every single employee has a, a desktop and they're sitting on the front of the desktop, that's not really the reality. So the, the mobile Viva Connection and the mobile uh, experience is really there to make sure that there's the connection to these employees as well, which do not necessarily sit in front of the desktop uh, throughout the day. Or those persons who are traveling or those persons who are on the move or commuting, uh, they, they can easily access the relevant information within a company directly from the mobile experience through Microsoft Teams. Now, as we talked about, and uh, this video is more about acquisition of customizations and extensibility uh, within the Viva connection. So if I now go to add a card functionality in here, we can see all of the cards which are already available within this tenant. So the things which we have either available out of the box or which we have acquired from the store or through site loading directly to the app catalog within a tenant. And in our case, we have installed this really cool Ace Design a catalog, which gives us more flexible, uh, really cool looking uh, dashboard cards, which we can use for storytelling. So I can add a card here and it's a really nicely configured card, which is available. Now for partners, uh, let me actually get rid of that one there, just to raise that a bit higher. So for partners, you can build these cards, uh, like mentioned, and then these cards will drive awareness of your application or the Microsoft Teams application. So you can drive traffic from the mobile and from the desktop and from the Viva connection, from the mobile 
portal of the company directly to your application. And you can surface the relevant details directly within a card, but then whenever you need to do more complex operations, you can be redirected the user to your application. Now, how do we get those cards? Um, in here, if we scroll down all the way down on the Viva Connection, uh, designer or the, the card picker, uh, we can actually say suggested cards. And these are suggested cards which are provided by external partners. So these are cards which are available from the store. So the partners can submit their cards and dashboard, your connection dashboard cards to the Microsoft App Source and store to be available so that customers can find them. And I can easily click the add more cards, which will be redirecting me to the acquisition process of getting those cards available. Now, this is a bit of a complex, confusing thing maybe, um, but this is actually powered by SharePoint Store because behind of the scene, SharePoint powers a lot of the Microsoft 365 capabilities, uh, including the Viva Connection. So now that I'm in the SharePoint Store, I can filter down the Viva Connection dashboard cards and I can see all of the cards which I can acquire to be available within uh, my tenant. So some of these cards are already installed, but I could go somewhere like uh, my calendar from Accelerator 365, really great example of an application. Uh, and I can have a look on the details on the card, how it will look like, and I can add it to be available within my tenant. Now, I can add it to be available in my tenant because I'm an administrator within the tenant. If you would not be an administrator and you would not have that centralized permissions to do this, you can request that card and solution to be acquired. And this is because of security reasons. So we want to be super strict that there is a process and governance related on these cards, which are available uh, for card designers and, and the people who are creating the dis uh, dashboards for the end users. So there is a bit of a, let's say, IT pro uh, administrative process uh, required here. Uh, but as if you're an end user, we can request the solution to be acquired and then the administrator can actually approve that to be available and at that moment of the time the card was then available for the dashboard now as i mentioned uh, we now support those cards to be also available directly within the app source so we're surfacing them in the centralized app source uh, app source microsoft marketplace called microsoft app source so uh, let me go in here this is basically the Microsoft App Source, where you can find all of the different offerings from our partner ecosystem to extending SharePoint and Microsoft Teams and, and Outlook and Excel and, and, and so on. So a lot of, lot of different opportunities. As we can see, there's actually 5,601 results uh, in an app uh, for Microsoft 365, and that is a lot of, lot of extensibility. Of course, you don't want to scroll down all of them and trying to find the relevant things. Now we can directly go on the left menu here and we can see that we have a Viva selection available uh, over there and I can select the Viva and that will then show me the relevant offerings for a v Microsoft Viva connection. Um, one thing to notice here, uh, if you are an existing partner, you might be wondering that, hey, so this list actually has eight items, but if I go on the SharePoint store, we can see a bit more of those offerings available. And this is true. Um, this is a bit of a bummer, um, but to be able to get you listed, uh, inside of the Viva selection in AppSource, you will re, you will need to resubmit your application for validation. And that's because as part of that validation pipeline, it will be automatically detect that, that your SharePoint framework solution also contains components for Viva, and therefore it will be exposed under this Viva selection. So a bit of an uh, additional bureaucracy to go through, uh, but after that resubmission, your solution will be then listed not only under SharePoint as an example, but also under Viva, because the same dashboard cards are available in SharePoint and in Viva, really empowering you to reuse the same code in multiple locations. Now, if I'm an end user and I'm here, um, I would actually go in and select the, the card what I want to actually use. Uh, I can see the card details. Uh, I can I can see the offerings, uh, in this case, again, Ripley or Accelerator 365 is offering, then I can get click get it now. And this one will be actually redirect me back on the SharePoint store, where again, we're double checking is the user administrator or an end user. And if the user is a end user, end user can request that solution to be acquired. And if the user is an administrator, they can actually acquire that solution directly. Like in my case, again, I'm an administrator within this tenant, so I can add this solution to be available automatically. And as I add it available, I can then actually, it will be then exposed for anybody who is designing uh, the dashboards and experiences within the Viva connection uh, as a option to get selected. So I can then easily select that, that to be available, for example, in here, 
or additional things like we already tested the FAQ is actually a really nice one as well and we could actually get also the events, where's the events? Uh, but a bit of the event schedule, there we go. And with the event schedule, we can even make it a larger. And there we go. And then we can preview this available in here. And we can actually see it in a mobile experience as well. So we can design the right experiences for the end users, depending on their role, depending on their organizational uh, uh, structure, depending on their objective, what you want to achieve. So really cool capabilities. And of course, everything works in Android and iOS through the Microsoft Teams application. And again, you don't need to introduce a new application. You can access the same application on and the functionalities through the Microsoft Teams by using the Viva connection. And that's it for now. So that was a quick storyline related on a Viva connection, Viva connection uh, cards and Viva connection extensibility. And now that they are actually available within an app source uh, for partners, please do take advantage of that one. You can, you can resubmit or submit your solution to be available in the app source and then the customers can find them easily as they're designing their cool looking Viva connection mobile experiences. Thank you for that. Cheers. Thank you.